Good evening, friends. Stephen Bernoulli with Israeli News Live, and uh, we're getting reports, uh, which you guys I know are already aware of, three American soldiers that were killed uh, in Iran uh, near the Al Tanf base. There, as you can see, pictured on the screen here, we've got that particular map. Uh, that's the base there, right on the Jordanian border. And uh, but oddly enough. And of course, uh, you know, Iranians feel like that at least they're, the Americans are finally admitting the fact that U.S. troops have been killed. They say three there. These three gentlemen right here, unfortunately, lost their lives inside of Syria. Uh, but according to the reports that we're getting, and this is from Intel out of the Middle East there, and it is one of the most highly regarded Intel sources I have in that area, said that uh, this morning, and it was talking about yesterday, Iranian-backed forces attacked four bases on Iraq, killing and injuring over 55 American soldiers. U.S. says three dead, 30 injured. Iran says 80 killed and injured altogether. But uh, inside of Iraq, Iran claims that 55 American soldiers have been killed in these attacks and a total of four uh, attacks have occurred. So when we begin to see that the Biden administration is under very, very uh, uh, tough uh, situation to bring about an attack on Iran, well, that's because they're just not telling you everything. Uh, and that's the whole reason why we're seeing this take place. And then on top of it, we've got trouble on the southern border, the standoff between the Biden administration, the, the governor of Texas, and, you know, there's been different... Uh, Media reports swirling that the U.S. is sending uh, troops uh, or, or tanks and the National Guard uh, down to the border of Texas. In Texas, claiming that, well, they're going to shoot first, ask questions later. You know, it's just really going nuts there. Uh, and that's being a very mild understatement there. I'll be curious to see, though, whether or not the U.S. is willing to admit uh, these uh, this horrible tragedy that we have that's going on over in Iraq. Uh, but one thing's for sure, you can count on it. The U.S. is going to do something. They're not going to just sit back with that many soldiers dead. And, of course, especially not willing to tell the American public of, of what's really going on. Um I'm just trying to find real quick. I'd got other intel as well, and I uh, wanted to share that other information with you if I could find it real quick here. Here we go right here. Uh, this was coming in, said, uh, uh, ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, hang on one second, guys. Let me just see if I can find this for you. I guess what happened. Yeah, I got, I got, oh gosh, I went way, way, way up on that one. Here we go. Um Okay, here we go right here. This had also come in to me as well. Single source who is, is deeply knowledgeable about U.S. military planning. The U.S. is considering striking targets inside of Iran proper as retaliation for attacks upon U.S. base that killed three U.S. soldiers over the weekend. The strikes would be powerful and very significant. The source continued. When challenged uh, by me, uh, the, the, uh, the uh, Altam, excuse me, that the attacks occurred upon the Al Tanf base, which is inside of Syria and not the T-22 base nearby, but across the border in Jordan. The source told me both bases were hit. When I asked the source what evidence existed, Iran had anything at all to do with the attacks, the source replied, oh, come on, everyone knows it's all Iran. Uh, that response staggered me and its assumption, everybody knows, question marks, uh, that the uh, uh, what the HEWL kind of intelligence decision making is based on everybody knows. What if Iran had nothing to do with it? What if the decision to attack was in fact taken by the Iraqis in retaliation for U.S. attacks upon Iraqi paramilitary groups, which is what the local intel is saying? We would be attacking Iran, who actually did nothing. Well, 
That could be argued, but as I said already, intel that I have coming, and this intel here is, well, I can't really divulge that information as much as I would like to, but what I read to you there, that's coming out of the Middle East, and that's somebody in the know all the way up into the top political uh, ranks of Iran itself, as well as military personnel in Iran. And uh, they are stating, as I stated to you already, 55 American soldiers uh, have uh, killing and injuring over 55 American soldiers. U.S. says three dead, 30 injured. Iran says 80 killed and injured. Now that is a combination of injuries and deaths together. So we do not have a clear number on how many deaths are, but that is from Iran uh, official intelligence there. Uh, it's giving us numbers of the number of dead and injured coming out of the Middle East with four bases being attacked. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Have a blessed night.